Hello, comrades. Thanks for the invitation. First of all, I, I, I want to bring you some greetings. I have to bring you greetings for, from the steel workers in Athens who have already completed 210 days of strike. And they're going well. I also have to bring greetings for, from uh, the media workers that uh, are voting for an all-out strike. In the, yeah. the media workers are voting for an all-out strike uh, next week against their bosses who are threatening that uh, if they strike during the electoral campaign, it will be a strike against uh, democracy. But uh, I think they will fight and will win this, this uh, battle. I have to bring greetings also from the subway workers in Athens that have already decided that they will have a series of strikes in the, after uh, two weeks, despite all this pressure that we are in a, an electoral campaign, campaign and the struggle would, be, would go back. The, um, I have also to bring greetings from the students in, uh, in Athens who have been fighting against the police raids in, uh, in the last weeks. They have been cr making barricades because the, the police are, are, are trying to uh, make raids against uh, migrants in Athens. The students have organized uh, to, to uh, support the migrants and now the, the, the police are trying to, 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 to raid inside the university campuses. And all the previous weeks we have, we have been having battles in Athens for, with the students fighting against the, the police raids with the, the, the migrants. So I think, comrades, if uh, 100 years ago, 100 years ago, the, the, the Rosa Luxemburg, the Polish revolutionary, was saying that uh, the stock markets, stock markets go up and the workers go down. I think from Europe we have quite different picture right now. We have the stock markets go down, they're really collapsing. To, today the Greek stock market uh, was uh, back in the levels of 1989. Uh, and on the other hand, we have uh, the workers making steps forward. Uh, feeling that they can uh, stand up, sometimes feeling that they even can r reach the sky. In the, the, the ruling class in Europe is, uh, doesn't know how to cope with the, the, with the economic crisis, with the crisis of, uh, of capitalism. They, 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 they're trying to save Euro, they're trying to save the banks, but uh, their only remedy until now has been austerity and austerity has been proved, uh, has, be, has failed, it doesn't, it doesn't work. So. Uh, the, Greece has been at the f forefront of the struggle against austerity and uh, against the effects of the capitalist crisis. And the recent electoral results, I think, have, uh, can, uh, can, give, can give a clear picture of what, what's happening. In the last two, two weeks, the media in, uh, in Greece don't do anything else but uh, crying, weeping and mourning on, 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 the, on the results because uh, it has been a shock for them. It has been a shock for the whole European ruling class, but especially for the Greek ruling class, who, who knows better what's happening in the, in, in the country. And they're trying to, 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 they are in a deep shock. Let me bring you some examples. The, the, the leader of the, of the Tory party in, uh, in Greece said that uh, if the left wins, uh, the sickle and the hammer and anarchy will uh, come back to, to, to the country, um, and uh, that we, have, we will have the return of the Soviet system. Um, the, a leader, the leader of the main far-right uh, party said that Greece will be turned into the Cuba of the Mediterranean. Um, the, um, a leader of the Social Democratic Party said that uh, if the left wins, uh, we're going to see executions in the streets and the return of the guillotine. So it's, uh, it's, I think it gives a picture of how, how, how shocked they are after, after, after the results. Uh, it's, it's the first time that um, one of the ruling parties, the two main parties in Greece, loses in the elections and the other party doesn't win, the, the other, the other uh, main two parties. The um, Social Democratic Party just two years ago had a landslide victory with 44% and now two years after they have, they have 13%. Uh, the, on the other hand, the, the combined vote of the left is now 34 percent, which is uh, I'm talking about the left uh, far from the social democracy, and it's uh, it's a record number uh, result for 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 Greece in, in its whole history. 
in, in this picture, the anti-capitalist left has, uh, is part of this search to the left. We have been able to, to treble our, our, our vote results. So uh, the, the other side is really afraid of what's, uh, what's happening. They, they, they are understanding that after two years of struggle, we have, the, we have struggles and a result in the, in the ballot box. And they are afraid that after the ballot box, we're going to have even, even more struggles. And uh, we have to be clear that that's what they are afraid of. They are not afraid just for, for, for what the electoral result will be. They're afraid, they're not afraid of the parties of the parliamentary left that have uh, been able to express all this search to the left. They are afraid of the struggles. They are afraid of what, what, how much struggle we're gonna have uh, in front of us because we have had two years of austerity, but we have had at the same time two years of escalating uh, resistance. And the, and the ruling class has has failed in its prediction on what would happen. They, would, they thought that what we would see in Greece with two years of austerity would be what they call the shock doctrine. What the, they, they would expect to, for the, the people to, to return to passivity and to, to selfishness, uh, but uh, that didn't happen, despite that the, the, the crisis is so deep and, so, uh, and the situation is, uh, is, uh, is really tragic. Today, I've, I've just heard by comrades back in Greece that we have uh, two more suicides in, uh, in Greece because of the crisis. A 60-year-old man took his 90-year-old mother who suffers from, suffered from Alzheimer's disease, he, th he threw, them, threw her from the balcony and then he jumped uh, after, after her. And, and, and the same, very same day, um, a, a man who, who happens to live quite close to, my, to the place I live uh, committed suicide by cutting his, uh, his wrists in a, in a park. So this, the situation is tragic because of the, of the economic crisis. We had a series of, the, the, the education uh, union uh, says that we, we have more and more school students fainting in the classroom because they didn't have proper breakfast. Or we, the, there are a series of people, uh, of drug users, who use uh, deliberately uh, needles contaminated with HIV just to, to, to take the extra uh, money by, by provided by the state to people who suffer from uh, HIV. So the, the, uh, we have to, to, to have this picture of how, how tragic the situation with, uh, with the economic crisis is. And that's a way to understand how important have been the, st the struggles for, for of the two, two last years. Um, and what's more important is that in these two years, we had escalating resistance with the working class uh, really learning through its own experience. Uh, when, the cri when the crisis began two years ago, uh, most of, the majority of the people thought that we would organize a big general strike as ever, and this general strike would be enough uh, in order to, to, stop, uh, to stop the austerity. And we did that, but it, it proved that uh, it was not enough. And then more and more, peop more, more, and more people tried to say that we, we can't do just this. We have to organize our workplaces and organize committees to, 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 to fight for more and more strikes. And, uh, and we did that. We, we, uh, more and more people thought, uh, said that one day strike is not enough. We have to have more days of strike, even all out strikes. And they did it. And it was proved no, not enough. And in every step, it was, um, uh, and then we had uh, the movement of the squares, inspired by what happened in Egypt and what happened in, uh, in Spain. And we had a whole, a whole summer of people occupying in their hundreds of thousands, the, the main squares of, uh, of Athens, uh, calling for the government to, uh, to resign. And inside this movement, people, uh, again, were able to, to to learn through their own experience. In the first days, there were, the majority of the people there were saying that we don't need the trade unions now or the political parties. We, we're, we're a new movement that we can cope with, uh, with our, ourselves. But um, it was when the riot police attacked the occupied Sinema Square, it was the union of the subway workers that provided the shield for, for the protesters, opening up the metro stations for the people to come in and creating a human shield against the riot police. When the people were fighting against the electricity company cutting the, the, the electricity from poor families, it was the union of the electricity workers that, sa that said, we won't cut uh, the electricity in any poor uh, people house. And uh, in, inside this procedure, it was the trade unions that 
became the uh, became one with the, the with the movement of of the squares. And uh, inside, uh, after all this experience, we can uh, one can understand how. After two years of deep crisis, after two years of, of uh, escalating resistance, we had this shocking result for the ruling class in the, in, in the ballot box. It's the, it's the class struggle that de determined uh, the results in the, in the ballot box. Okay, final thing, I think I have to say that nothing would have happened without the intervention of the anti-capitalists in, the, in, in these struggles. Because in every single moment, no, nothing was automatic. In every single moment, there were people that were saying that uh, many things. The, the crisis is not so deep, maybe things will get better. Or the people cannot fight more because they have been already uh, hit by the crisis, so we couldn't call for more strikes. Or uh, that we should find other ways and not uh, uh, use the, the trade unions, uh, etc. Uh, and it was important for the anti-capitalist left in Greece to be strong and to be inside the struggles in order to, to shape them and, and determine that we would go on with the strikes and, uh, and uh, that provided all this experience for, for our class. I think that, that, that's important. First, the anti-capitalists to, to be inside these struggles and, and shape them. Second, to, to provide political arguments for the people that are now radicalizing and are trying to find answers of, uh, on, uh, on what's happening, on, on how to answer with the, uh, on the, the question of the euro, how to answer the question of the crisis. And third, the intervention of the anti-capitalists is important because uh, the strategic, strategic questions open up at, the, at this moment. More and more people are trying to find out what else we could do uh, without, uh, without this without capitalism, without this system that uh, brings all this uh, crisis and catastrophe. So, uh, I think in these times of crisis and resistance, uh, we have a lot of work to do, and we have started to do, to do it. Thank you.